Sup guys, so last time we talked about, you know, Andrew Torba and his response to Gab sponsoring AFPAC 3. Well, there was a poll on Gab recently, which asks, do you believe Andrew Torba made a mistake sponsoring America First Political Action Conference? So 81% said yes. So you might be wondering, why is there so much like opposition to Nick Fuentes and AFPAC and the Groypers? on Gab. So basically, here's the summary of it. So if you don't know, the Groypers, they've been trying to, you know, become big on Gab. Basically, they were mass banned, mass kicked off of Twitter quite a while ago. So they decided, you know, let's make a home on Gab. But when they decided to do that, they started uh, going after wig nats, and for some reason they started attacking women. Basically, they tried to redo the thought wars for some reason. Uh, and it didn't actually go well for them at all. Um, basically, the la large majority of Gab users, they don't hate women, they don't like the women jokes, or, you know, any of that MGTOW, or any of that kind of stuff. So... This post kind of encapsulates that entire drama, so uh, it says, I think it might be all the rape and murder. Okay, so this post is responding to the Red red Elephants, Vincent James, you know, uh, who's also on Cozy.TV. He was asking, why are people all of a sudden attacking Nick on here? He is clearly the most effective right-wing dissident right now. He had Ben Shapiro doing whole speeches about him while refusing to mention his name. Right, so this is her response. This is uh, her response. By the way, this is actually, I think, a girl. So I mistakenly misgendered this person in the last video. My bad. Okay, she says, I think it might be all the rape and murder threats we received from those associated with the America First for months now that Nick seems to have been endorsing and even at times propelling. Obviously, he, that he's been guiding this, or maybe the fact that he was sharing the private comms from a right wing dissident group that were leaked by the quote-unquote leaked by the u.s government backed actors in conjunction with antifa so what's the she's talking about here let's look at it okay so she says nick fuentes sharing a leak by the u.s government backed actors ddos secrets in conjunction with antifa from a right-wing dissident group's private communication is the final unveiling of his anti-white hatred and confirmation of his status as a federal asset. So, basically, I actually know what's going on here. So, this video, it got leaked, you know, it's uh, supposedly, allegedly, a Patreon Fund training video. And Nick, he was basically just laughing about it. Oh no, ha 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 ha. Basically, he was just sharing it. By the way, he didn't leak this himself. This came out, like, much earlier uh, in the week and he just uh, upon finding it just decided to you know make a little shit post about it so it's not really as you know egregious as she's making it out to be but what is egregious is uh, Groypers uh, basically making statements like this we are Gloyper gang we will rape you and remove your head uh, there's this and he's another Groyper guy and he's saying uh, white women should be <laughs> raped because it's funny. Wow, that's good optics. Uh, then they're threatening to rape women on Gab. That's actually something they've been doing for quite a while. Uh, I've been using Gab a lot. And yeah, Groypers are kind of making that. And it's actually gotten so bad that uh, Nick basically had to disavow them. So this guy, Florida Florida Paleocon, he's also probably Nick Fuentes, America First. And he says, I have a dream that one day it will be legal for men to rape white women as much as they want. Uh, you know, that's some high IQ shit posting there. And Nick says, should go without saying, but don't still post don't don't post stuff like this. This isn't even edgy or funny, it's just try hard and cringe. Which is obviously this is something he should have said to begin with. But he only said this like very, very recently. So it's kind of on him for not disavowing it earlier. Yeah, Groypers, they were making all kinds of cringe, weird, like woman hating. Now, that's not to say there aren't problems with women, but you can articulate them much better than just saying, by the way, we should like make it legal to R them and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cringe. So 
the situation's gone pretty bad. He had to not only serve out the Groypers, uh, but who were doing this kind of stuff, but also he told them to engage in a mass blocking campaign. So he says here, if you see bad faith, anti-AF sentiment from shills, just block, ignore, and move on. We will win. They seethe. So, yeah. And it's not going well for him, <laughs> as you can see from the comments here. Uh, basically, he's getting shit on. Some people are coping. Yeah. It's not going well for him at all. It's basically he's in damage control, basically. Uh... He says here, this is also another one of his uh, ways to de-escalate the entire thing. Gab is an amazing platform because it is the only true free speech platform in the world with its freedom. There comes bad faith actors, shills, DC tactics, etc. But the good news is that you can simply block those people and enjoy the platform. They are free to see this view negativity to each other over there. And we can enjoy ourselves and not have to listen to that nonsense over here. That's the view of Gab. We are cleaning up our community this year. Patriots welcome shows blocks. So he's basically telling Groypers, you know, let's just uh, mass block people who make fun of us, basically. Uh, which is, I mean, kind of thin-skinned. I mean, if you can dish it out, but you can't take it in. I would say that's kind of weak. So, yeah. Uh, recently, that's what's been going on with Nick Fuentes and the Groypers. Uh, the pressure's been on them for a while. Uh, this isn't something new. This has actually been going on for a long time. Uh, yeah, and a lot of prominent accounts on Gab, they've been going hard at him. And this is him basically just uh, buckling under the pressure, essentially. And you'll notice that these uh, Gabs, where they, you know, uh, made these, you know, comments about women and, you know, jokes about raping women and stuff. They've all been deleted, basically. So, yeah. They're in full damage control mode. 